This quick guide video shows how to perform an RECD using the SPL60 probe on the Affinity Compact. The SPL60 probe provides a clinical alternative to measuring the RECD using the patient's own ear mould. This is particularly useful if the ear mould is not available or if the RECD with the traditional method is difficult. In order to make an RECD, it is essential to select a protocol which includes the RECD test. Use the drop down list to select such a protocol. The SPL60 probe combines the stimulus tube and the microphone tube into a single unit. This is then connected to the headset as shown here. Once connected, a calibration of the SPL60 probe is required. This is performed by firstly pressing the tube calibration button and then select SPL probe. Follow the on-screen instructions by aligning the tip of the SPL probe with the reference microphone and then presenting the calibration stimulus. We are now ready to take a measurement. With the RECD test selected, click the start button. An instructional prompt will inform you of the next step, which is to place the SPL60 probe into an SPL60 adapter and a 2cc or 0.4cc coupler. Then we measure the coupler response. The frequency of the coupler is now shown on screen. The next measurement is the real ear measurement. Select an appropriate tip and attach this to the SPL60 probe. Note that the SPL60 probe uses the same tips as standard tympanometry. The real ear response is now measured and automatically subtracted from the coupler response. This leaves the RECD and can be seen at the bottom of the screen. You are now ready to fit the instrument by placing it in the test box and performing a real ear aided response measurement. It is important to note that when fitting an RECD measurement using the SPL60 probe, the aided measurements in the test box must be recorded using a HA1 adapter connected to either a 2cc or 0.4cc coupler. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about the Affinity Compact, please watch the following videos. Or alternatively, contact your local interacoustics support representative.